When self-adhering a base ply, begin by adhering arctic edge to the perimeter of the roof, leaving the release film in place. Lightly score the release film to only expose the section you're ready to adhere. Then, starting at the low point of the roof, once your first course is in position, remove the release film from both the membrane and the tape. Press the membrane into place. On particularly cold days, the tape edge may start to lift. Simply apply extra pressure before proceeding. Take care not to shift the membrane during this process. Once adhered, remove any entrapped air with a weighted roller using a sweeping motion. Do not roll the length of the membrane. Apply the same methodology as you complete the edge metal detail, utilizing Arctic Edge to boost adhesion for the required 9-inch flashing strip and replacing Flint Prime Aerosol as metal primer on this and any metal detail which would have extended cure times in cold weather, slowing labor productivity. When installing the subsequent courses of self-adhere base or inner plies, apply Arctic Edge where the side lap will occur, affixing approximately half of the tape on the previously installed edge and half onto the surface below. Again, once your membrane is in position, remove the release film to expose the adhesive surfaces and roll in. While a handheld applicator is necessary for perimeter application, a stand-up applicator is recommended for the rest of the field to maximize production. A similar methodology is applied to cap sheet application. When installing cap sheets, Apply Arctic Edge to cover the 3 inch selvage, allowing about an inch to extend onto the top surface of the base or inner ply below. When you reach the end of a base or inner ply roll, apply Arctic Edge to the 4 inch end lap, applying all the tape to the overlap surface. Arctic Edge is not utilized for cap sheet end laps. Before application, it's important to recognize in any temperature, T-seam treatment is necessary. Left untreated, this center section of membranes can create a capillary for water intrusion. Cut and remove the corner of the underlying cap sheet and the opposite corner of the sheet being installed. Now, when the overlap is made, you'll have a smooth and watertight transition. The T-seam treatment is required for all self-adhered base, interply, and cap sheets. Unless stored in a warm location, Flimpon SBS modified adhesive can be challenging to spread in cold weather. Instead, leverage the heat and pressure of a hot air welder in combination with a silicone roller to secure end laps. With the welder set between 8 and 10, apply heat to the granular surface. Drag the hot air welder approximately 3 inches per section while applying pressure from above. For a 6 inch overlap, the welder makes two 3 inch passes. As with all flint plastic SA applications, offset and stagger end laps a minimum of 3 feet. For more information on flint plastic SA application with Arctic Edge, visit Certainty.com or speak to your local Certainty Commercial Roofing Territory Manager.